Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to this video. So I just thought I would make this quick simple video on how to teach you guys how to install um, your own sort of text fonts into into uh, uh, Photoshop CS6. Or I'm pretty sure this works with every single one. I'm not sure, but I have the version of CS6. So yeah, first of all, um, here's just an example of a um, a font that I installed just a couple of minutes ago and I'm going to show you basically how to install your own font like this or different I mean there's loads of cool fonts first of all just uh, close that okay and then open up your preferred internet browser my Google Chrome doesn't work for some reason so I'm just going to use Internet Explorer or whatever this is anyway type in uh, the web address defont.com which will be in the description and it will bring you over here which is defont.com and um, it has lots of different things really cool ones like as you can see over here these are all the ones that you can pick from at the top of here these are all the different um, all the different type of categories whatever over here I'm just going to choose this one but um, if you want to choose a different one, you can go by all these categories. Just click on it and it will show up with a bunch of the ones from that category. So then over here to the right of um, next to the actual font, where you, it gives a it gives like sort of like a preview of how it's going to look. Just click on download and it really um, then just click save. It really isn't big. Like as you can see, my Wi-Fi is really slow, but it finished in like one second downloading. Then just um, open the folder, and I saved mine to downloads, and it will open up in a WinRAR folder. As you can see over here, this is this is my WinRAR folder, and if you don't have WinRAR, just go over here and type in WinRAR downloads. I mean, it's really simple. I shouldn't have to explain to you guys how to how to install it and then just go to over here WinRAR and um, you know whatever and just choose whatever version you want if you have a 64-bit or 32-bit uh, processor then just choose that whatever but I mean it's self-explanatory so whatever let's go over here once you have WinRAR installed and um, double click on it and it will open up with this sorry okay it will open up with this and as you can see over there this is the actual text, I mean the, this is the actual font document, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Descolorido, whatever. So once you have that, just like uh, click on it until you, you'll see when it's blue. And then at the top of here, click extract to and choose whatever you want to extract it to. I'm just going to choose documents because why not, click OK and it's not a big file so it'll be done in a couple of seconds. Then just uh, close that and open wherever you saved wherever you extracted the proper one to. As you can see over here, I have my bombing font, which is the one that you saw in my earlier font when I sh when I started the video. So there's my bombing one. But if you go down over here, we have Discolorido, Discolorido, I'm not really even sure how to pronounce that, but it's um, just double click on it and it will open up this, which uh, I'm pretty sure just shows you like a it shows you pretty much like a, a preview of it, I'm not really sure, probably. And over here at the top it will say install, just click that and it will install, it won't take too long. As you can see it's already done, didn't even cut anything out. And then um, open up Photoshop. Okie dokie, so once you have Photoshop opened up, you can just file, I'm just going to create a new document quickly, sorry my PC is lagging. I'm just going to create a new document over here and uh, save it as there. I'm going to have a background of white. Okay, so it's going to have this and um, just type in whatever you want. I'm just going to wait, let's just bring this down a bit. Um, let's bring to 72 points. Type in monkey forms. That isn't the font, by the way. That's my, that's my, um, other font that I installed first then you just highlight it let's just check what the name is again it is let is let's just copy this add the name and then go over here 
and uh, highlight the text and then go to the top over there where your fonts are and click over there here's all your fonts so you could just look for it or you can or you can just type it in over here which I'm going to do paste over there so once you type it in over there just click enter and as you can see as you can see over here guys this is our text and um, you can create loads of different text you can get loads of different ones and it's cool uh, so yeah that, that yeah that was the video everyone <laughs> don't really know why I made this just in case you ever wanted to know sort of how to get your own text because the text that it comes with are really boring and I'm not once again I'm gonna say I'm not sure if this works which versions of Photoshop you have to have I have Photoshop CS6 and it works on that but I'm pretty sure it should work on all the Photoshop versions but I'm not sure so don't uh, don't tell me it doesn't work if you have an older version of Photoshop because I'm not sure if it works on them but anyway um commentary video should be coming out soon I know I haven't really been making a lot of videos recently I just have no ideas of actually what to make and I've been busy with exams but now it's holiday so I can make as much videos as I want but um but yeah, I'll think of I'll think of something, and I might make a video soon. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope it helped you out. Please uh, smash that like button, and uh, subscribe for more uh, more videos. Yeah, like this, and I will check you guys next time. Cheers, everyone.